Welcome back to Racing Direct, guys. Of course, it is the Chinese Grand Prix this weekend, but we have to get into a sort of different topic, and we need to talk about the Carlos Sainz contract situation. So make sure you hit subscribe, smash that like button, leave your comments. Let's get right into it. So of course, the reason we're bringing this up now is because one of the big dominoes in the driver market has fallen. That is, of course, Fernando Alonso announcing that he is re-signing with Aston Martin on a multi-year deal. That means one seat is off the table, one high-profile seat at that, and one high profile driver as well now most people are saying that right now the ball is currently in Carlos Sainz's court and he's got a few different options that he can choose now of course one of the main reasons we're bringing this up right now is because there were some interesting rumors floating around they had already made a decision behind the scenes and an announcement was imminent those rumors of course were that he had formally agreed on a deal with Mercedes. Now, of course, yes, nothing has been confirmed yet. However, there, apparently there were talks going on between Toto and Carlos. I mean, of course there were. Why wouldn't there be? And to be honest, a straight swap between Hamilton and Sainz is not out of the realm of possibility. And it does kind of make sense for Sainz if he wants to stay in a top-level team. Sure, Mercedes is behind Ferrari right now. They're kind of trending downwards. However, with all of the personnel, all of the bright-minded staff, so much talent going on behind the scenes at that team who's to say that they're not going to bounce back obviously it's always going to be an attractive option for signs now to be honest before all of this madness started when it was really just hamilton that we knew was going to ferrari i thought for sure carlos signs is going to sign with sauber of course yes huge huge step down from ferrari at the present time but we all know that audi is stepping in in 2026 they are going to want to fight for wins and championships as soon as possible. It's not going to be the same old story we're seeing right now with Kick Sauber. I was going to take it to the next level. I was convinced as well with Carlos Sainz Sr.'s ties to the brand that maybe Carlos Sainz Jr. was going to sign there in preparation for the Audi takeover to be their front man. However, now it's not really looking like that's the case. It looks like the favor is shifting towards Mercedes. Now, the reason why it's sort of leaning in Mercedes' favor for Carlos Sainz's decision right now is because his other real top option is, of course, Red Bull. There's still no word on the craziness that's going on behind the scenes and if that's affecting Verstappen's decision on if he's going to stay with the team or not. Personally, I don't see him going anywhere. I don't know why he would ever want to leave. I think he could just put all of that craziness with Horner and Marco and any other executive who's beefing behind the scenes behind him and just keep on winning races. Why would he want to leave at this point? It makes absolutely no sense. The only real vacancy that could possibly open at Red Bull is Sergio Perez. If that did happen, then of course, obviously, Carlos Sainz, that would be his best option to take at the present time. But honestly, I don't think Perez is going anywhere. I still think, yes, while he's not on Verstappen's level, I mean, honestly, nobody is. So we're not even going to question that. I still believe that Perez is doing everything that Red Bull wants him to do. You don't need to be fighting with Verstappen for wins and pole positions. Honestly, they'd probably prefer if he didn't, so Verstappen can just keep coasting off into the sunset every single Grand Prix. But what he is doing is staying consistent, he's getting top results, and he's making sure that Red Bull are still winning the Constructors' Championships. That is literally all they need from him, and that is what he's continuing to do. So Red Bull is sort of in one of those scenarios, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And you can say what you want about the stuff going behind the scenes, but in terms of the on-track results and everything, I would just not touch that lineup personally. I believe that Carlos Sainz at this point in time will sign with Mercedes. You can take it how you want with these rumors. It does sound pretty serious, like he has developed in contract negotiations with the Silver Arrows, but we'll have to wait and see what exactly happens. Carlos Sainz himself said he hopes to have a decision on his future made very, very soon. Honestly, it could happen right after the Chinese Grand Prix. We'll have to uh, sort of keep our ears open, see if anything slips over this Grand Prix weekend or if there's any new developments, and then we will go from there. But for now, I am saying that Carlos Sainz will sign with Mercedes and nobody else. But give me your thoughts in the comments, guys. As always, I'd love to hear it. Do you think Mercedes is the best option for Carlos Sainz right now? Or you think there's going to be an option coming out of left field and he's going to surprise us all? Let me know. And again, make sure you hit subscribe, like, share the video, and I'll see you guys next time on Racing Direct.